We are still on this family trip, so more soprano in the car action for me. Three days ago, I was able to surf. Two days ago, I did some yoga. Yesterday was a walk. Today is gonna be a run because I was up until like two and I'm exhausted today. So I'm hoping the run is gonna re-energize me. I am so not a fan of running. I flirt with it here and there. I try it every once in a while. I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna run. I kind of get excited about it. I maybe run a couple of times a week for a week, maybe two. It fades, it always fades. If you're gonna go to the trouble of running, I highly recommend building in coffee and danishes at the end of your run. Yesterday I worked on learning If I Were a Bell, and that song is traditionally played in the key of concert F. So today I wanna make sure to revisit that. See, do I still remember it? And a couple of things that help me are writing out the chord changes, but not as the actual chord changes, turning them into numbers. Turning them into numbers allows you to get away from identifying with specific chord changes and instead identifying with the chord progression, regardless of the key. So what I like to do is go through it at a very basic level, you know, just playing the root motion more or less while thinking of the numbers and then try to do it in a different key. Maybe if there's time, I'll do two different keys. And the point is not for me to, it's not about learning a song in 12 keys. The point is just to get my mind working in a different way and to train my mind to think ahead of where I am in any given measure to, to get me comfortable with the sequence, the way the chords move regardless of the key. And it gets me out of thinking of chords as just a chord and another chord and another chord. And it helps me see a bigger, broader picture of the song. So that's sort of the idea. And it's just good. It's a good mental practice for me, especially in a situation where I don't have a lot of time to make the most of that time. So that's basically it. I'll play through the song for a couple of courses, mostly sticking to the roots and thinking about the numbers. And then I'll move on to a new key and basically it's like a game. I'll see if, if I still remember the, the, the sequence of numbers, the progression, rather than just the individual chords from that original key. And what this does is not only help me remember the tune better, just the form and function of it, but also it, it gives me a new perspective on playing through that tune. I'll, I'll come up with some other ideas because of being in that other key that I might not have in the traditional regular key that you normally play the song in. Maybe I'll do one more key. 